A-level chemistry quick test video on calculations and in this one I'm going to be looking at excess and limiting reagents. So two questions to try, here's the first one, so if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is work out the moles of iron and the moles of sulphur that we've got. So moles of iron, mass over MR, 0.896, likewise for sulphur. 50 over 32.1 gives us 1.56 moles of sulphur. So because they react in a one-to-one -one ratio, it's really easy to see which is the limiting reagent. It's the iron because they're the fewest moles. It's going to run out first. So iron's a limiting reagent, so only 0.896 moles of iron sulphide can form off that reaction. All we need to do now is turn that into grams, multiply by the MR of uh, iron sulphide, and the three significant figures, we get a mass of iron sulphide formed at 78.8 grams. Okay, so here's the second one. So again, if you want to pause the video, have a go at that and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so just as before, we're going to work out the moles of nitrogen and moles of hydrogen that we've got. So mass over MR, remember, we have to have the mass in grams. So the moles of nitrogen is 10,000 grams over its MR, 28, so 357.14. Likewise for hydrogen, 5,000 grams over 2 gives us 2,500 moles of hydrogen. Now there's a few different ways to deal with the mole ratio in this one. So the way I do it is I use the moles of each chemical that I've got and I work out the sort of potential product I can make from that. So starting with the nitrogen, if we've got 357.14 moles of nitrogen, potentially, if they all reacted, we could make double the moles of ammonia. So that's 714.29. From the hydrogen, we've got a 3 to 2 ratio, so we could potentially make two-thirds of that 2,500, which is 1666.7 moles of ammonia. So now we've got these numbers... The smallest number is the limiting reagent. And now we've got that, we can establish how much ammonia we can make. So we've already calculated the moles of ammonia that we can make. We just turn that into grams and I've put it back into kilograms to three significant figures. It's 12.1 kilos. So like I said, there's several different ways you can sort of pick it up at this point, but this is the way I like to do them.